Welcome back, folks. Sheepdog Smokey here, and I know I said I'm not going to be posting as regularly, but there are times when I will, and honestly, I had to get this one off of my chest. The issue of wearing a mask or not is not about public health. It's not about coronavirus. It is about control. Listen to your doctor. I have had multiple people call me a liar, call me a moron, call me a criminal because I listen to my doctor. I specifically asked him, should I wear a mask? He gave me a list of symptoms and said, if you have half of these, wear a mask and go see someone at the hospital or come see me. I don't have any of those symptoms. And I told him, I do have a cough. You know I'm a smoker and I haven't quit yet. After telling me he does still think I need to quit, I need to quit fast, which I agree with and I'm working on. He said, if, as long as you know that you don't have any other symptoms but a cough, which would then be a smoker's cough, you're not even likely to be minimally affected. It's the same as the fact that, you know, a couple of weeks after having a common cold, you might still have something in your system that can transmit it. The other side of this coin is the simple fact that wearing a mask, wearing it properly where it covers your nose and mouth, traps everything you exhale right next to your mouth and nose. I have seen a report of a woman who died in a car crash because she passed out for, while wearing a mask. I have seen reports of people getting very sick because they wear a mask all the time. If you want to wear a mask, that's your choice. I don't because I've spoken to my doctor, a man who has practiced medicine longer than I've been alive. And as of today, when I'm recording this, that is now 43 years. My doctor was my parents' doctor when I was a child. He is now mine, as I'm no longer a child. He told me, if you don't have at least half of these symptoms, and it's not a lot, so I can have two or three, and he would say, go see someone. If it's not him, go to a hospital or ER. I don't have the symptoms, any of them. My cough is because I stupidly started smoking when I was 18, and now it's hard to quit. But he said you shouldn't wear a mask. The mask is not to prevent me from catching something. A mask is to prevent you from passing something on. He also confirmed that the reports he's seen, that the particulate from COVID-19 isn't stopped by most masks especially cloth masks, which many people are wearing. Bandanas, cloth masks, the little mesh face things, all of that. It's not stopped by those. Short of getting an SCBA and wearing a full bottle all day long, which would require probably a hundred bottles of air every day, there's not a way for you to stop what's in the air getting into your body. You can certainly slow it by, you know, social distancing, not going out all over the place, possibly wearing a face covering. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. That's why I ask mine these questions. But how many people got sick and died in flu season last year or the year before? Or the year before? How many died from pneumonia every year? Tuberculosis other respiratory diseases. Why don't we wear a mask all the time during flu season? Why didn't we socially distance ourselves and shut down the country because of H1N1 in 2009? The answer is using anything that you can to solidify and hold on to power. The Democrats were livid that they're, we want to impeach because we have a right to impeach. Stunt failed. They were livid 
that Stormy didn't get them into the White House. They were livid that they couldn't block Brett Kavanaugh or Neil Gorsuch. So, when a virus that many people say was deliberately released comes to the U.S., months after, because we do know that the Chinese government lied about it, they use it to cripple the economy. Most of the stats I see tell me that the unemployment rate right now is greater than even during the Great Depression, although we haven't recorded that. We don't have recorded history for that. We have 40 plus million Americans out of work because of this. Yet Democrats are happy to say, no, 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 just stay home, keep losing your cars and having power turned off and getting evicted and not being able to eat. That's, that's what you need to do right now. It is irresponsible and it is dangerous. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to tell you do or do not wear a mask. I'm going to tell you don't listen to people on television. Talk to your doctor. Don't go to teledoc. Your doctor cannot advise you and examine you over a video call. They need to see you. Yes, you might call them and say, I just want to know, should I wear a mask when I go out or not? If they're anything like mine, they're going to start rattling off symptoms. Do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? If, like me, you answered no to all but a cough, which I then clarified as, you do know I'm still a smoker, I haven't quit yet, I have none of the others you named. His simple advice was, I wouldn't wear one. He wears one when he examines patients because he knows he comes into contact with a lot of people every day, especially now, which may have the flu, pneumonia, strep, COVID, something. So he wears a mask as soon as he walks into the room, and he chucks that mask as soon as he walks out of the room. It's very simple. Doctors in surgery don't wear a mask so that airborne particulate, which is too small to be stopped by the mask, is stopped. They wear a mask so that, some of that may be, so that if they happen to have any form of liquid or other expectoration, that is stopped by the mask. They don't touch their mask after it's put on until they take it off at the end. The number of people I see wearing a mask that doesn't cover their nose, touching it every few seconds, adjusting it, it, it negates any benefit that that mask may have provided. Even the CDC is now saying that masks are not required. They may be recommended in certain situations, but they're not a necessity. Chris Cuomo while he was supposedly symptomatic with COVID-19, visited a construction site where apparently he was having a home constructed, not wearing a mask. When he was confronted about it, he berated the man who basically said, hey, aren't you sick? Don't you have COVID? Shouldn't you be at home? Yet very recently, he basically said, you're an evil, amoral demon if you don't wear a mask while he's not wearing one. We have video of reporters walking off camera and taking off their mask. This crap has to stop. It has to. If you want to wear a mask, wear it. Wear it right. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't. But don't demand that I obey your beliefs. It's that simple. I don't know what else I can say in this. You can tell I'm not happy. I am getting upset about this because I don't like being insulted. I don't like being told I should be arrested. I don't like being told I should be thrown under a jail because I dare listen to a medical doctor with more years experience than I have of life by some random jerk on the internet. And I will freely admit I mute or block everyone that I want to because of crap like that. If you prove to me you're too much of an immature imbecile 
to actually have an adult discussion, I'm not going to give you the time of day. I may or may not hide or block on this channel because others may have discussions in the threads. I may not respond to all comments. But if, if you're abusive of someone, name-calling, telling them they should be arrested, they should be shot, I've had people tell me to kill myself. And one of, it ha one of them happened on Twitter. I screenshotted it, sent it to Twitter safety. Nothing happened. But I post a video where a medical doctor in Dallas, Dr. Yvette Lozano, says that she was successfully treating people with hydrochloroquine, or hydroxychloroquine, coupled with azithromycin or z -Pak. And that video is scrubbed from the internet. Thankfully, these exist. I have multiple flash drives with that pandemic, the video with Dr. Mikevitz, other videos. That way, if Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube are successful in scrubbing it from the internet, I still have it. I'm done, though, for tonight. I am going to take a couple of days off. I may build up a couple of videos, but I'm not going to be posting on Friday, Saturday, Sunday at least, just because I'm kind of tired. I want to get back into my history books. I want to be able to start that series because that's what I enjoy studying. So it's what I enjoy discussing. So hopefully before too much longer, I'll have something put together and I can start. It will start very generally. There's not really a lot to discuss between landing at Plymouth Rock and the lead up to the American Revolution. After the Revolution, really the next thing is 1812, then 1860. From there, you get to the 1900s pretty quick. A lot of American history is just periods where people were living their life. Westward expansion is very much that. Yes, people went west because there was gold in them in our hills. During the Great Depression, people went west to find work. There's not much more to things like Western Expansion than that, other than discussing that, yes, the Lewis and Clark Expedition was a great thing for the country. It did show us there was so much more land to incorporate into this new nation. There are dark times, there are light times, and there are meh times. I plan to focus on the dark and the light. Those periods where well, we're just living our life farming or printing or banking or whatever that still goes on today I can tell you I will be looking into 1920 and I will be looking at how Spanish flu was handled and so on and so forth because I want to make a direct comparison between 1920 and 2020 but beyond that I'm just going to get back into my books and I'm going to go from there Make sure you let me know what you think. If there's part of history you want to dig into, part of government or economics that you'd like to dig into, because I do definitely plan to cover those topics as well. Just remember, be civil. We're not here to scream, yell, and argue. We're here to discuss, dissent, and debate as civil, logical adults. So please do. Please remember to like and share the video to expand the channel and conversation. And make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so that you can be a part of the channel and a part of the giveaway at 500, 1,000, and 1,500 subscribers. Don't forget, you can have your own opinion, you can vehemently defend your own opinion, but when you move into personal attacks, insults, and other things like that, you prove you are unworthy of my time. And if I see you doing it on the channel, I will ban, block you, because I'm not going to subject other viewers and other commenters to it. As long as you remain civil, dissent all you want. Until next time, have a wonderful day.